Okay, for our first uh, set of pieces for um, postmodernism, uh, we're going to focus before World War I and some of the early abstract pieces. And uh, the first one we're going to cover in regards to pre-World War I especially is The Steerage by um, Stieglitz. Uh, Stieglitz was um, an important supporter of European modernism in the U.S., and he actually was key to, in regards to his influence on making photography be considered a fine art. Some background on him, he was born in the U.S. to a wealthy German immigrant family and actually went back to Germany for school to study photography. He also was an artist as well, but he, um, you know, he, he really excelled at the art of photography. He organized many exhibits in the years prior to World War I from different, all different art genres. And at these exhibits, he sought to establish the legitimacy of photography as an art within all the other pieces that he exhibited. They became known, these exhibits, they became known as the 291 Gallery, and it featured American artists such as O'Keeffe and Dove, and then also European modernists, including Vasily Kudinsky, Georges Braque, Paul Cézanne, and Auguste Rodin. Uh, these helped develop modern art in the United States, spurred by European influences. He also founded a photographer's group known as the Photo Secession Group, as well as Camera Work, which was a quarterly publication that focused on photographic innovations and the modern aesthetic in regards to principles of photography. So he's one of the most important people who established photography as an independent artistic medium. So Stieglitz would photograph contemporary society almost as a way of documenting it, so like documenting documentary photography, while others were still doing formal studies in abstraction, and they often did a lot of sky photos. He basically preferred what they called straight photography, which means no manipulation of the negatives and chemicals. This picture um, that we're seeing here on the screen is called um, well, it's considered probably the first true art of photography, and that had to do with its form. This uh, Many considered photography to be like an imitation of real art or of painting and sculpture, but he's trying to show that photography is an art form as well, that it takes a talented person to create a, a, photo a piece of uh, photography. The photograph here balances the relationship between form and content, whereas most photographs before were definitely more documentarian. Now this one also fulfills the document, um, you know, being a documentary type uh, photo as well, but it had other things going on with it. Um, he was uh, making a social commentary about the steerage section. And, um, and the steerage part of the ship during the immigration period of Ellis Island was considered the um, lowest price quarters of the ship. It was underneath, you know, down below, below decks. There weren't necessarily rooms or um, the bathrooms weren't cleaned. I mean, it was like a really um, hard journey to get from Europe to the United States, even though they were on steamships. And Alfred Stieglitz didn't take the steerage um, section, uh, but he is definitely going to be commenting on um, the people who are immigrating to the United States um, with this piece. But in fact, this piece is showing instead of like, I mean, it looks like an immigration piece, but actually these are a lot of the people that are on here are the immigrants that got rejected at Ellis Island and the ship is going back to Germany. Well, Europe first and from wherever they went before that. So um, what he did is he's going to wander down from the first class deck and he sees like a jumbled scene of lots of passengers in the steerage class section and that really contrasted sharply with the quote the mob called the rich unquote that he left behind 
And um, from Stieglitz, this is what he said. There were men, women, and children on the lower level of the steerage, and that scene fascinated me. A round straw hat, the funnel leaning left, the stairway leaning right, the white drawbridge, its railings made of chain, white suspenders crossed on the back of a man below, the circular iron machinery, a mast that cuts into the sky like a completing a triangle. I stood spellbound for a while. I saw shapes related to one another, the pictures of shapes, and underlying it, a new vision that held me. So he just captured the scene that he believed was like a perfect type of composition that showed content, form, it had meaning, so there was a function to it, and um, you know you had to know the context behind it. So he says that I completely captured form, function, content, context, which is what we're studying with art history. So Stieglitz compressed the composition. Um, he emphasized the closeness of space on steerage and the bustling conditions in the steamer's lower level accommodations. Now, a documentary photographer might have showcased it as a poignant image of those rejected immigrants that had been, you know, that are going to be heading back to Europe in the steerage compartment. Stieglitz, though, concentrated on the exploration of the formal principles of design, including the distribution of shapes, the tonal values or the color values, and the textures that he saw. There's an emphasis on the bifurcation or the, you know, the way it's divided of the ship's architecture and the interplay of the machinery and the pass passengers. The compositional harmony of the steerage is all the more remarkable for its improbable circumstance of creation because it, it he hit a moment in time that is perfectly showing all of the um, pieces of art that we've been learning. So, um, Stieglitz is going to be, um, like I said, very influential as an art promoter as well. So although he's primarily known for his photography and he's got some awesome photography for other pieces, this is one that just kind of um, encapsulated what is important in art history.